This is the Xbox One, and this is the 7770. They're virtually the same on paper, but in practice things are a lot different. This fat fuck has console optimization, and this thing doesn't. So in theory, games should run better on the Xbox One, right? First off in GTA, the Radeon took the cake, showing mildly better frame rates than the locked 30 of this Xbox, and as you can see those extra frames really do make a difference. But the best part about the PC is that you can tweak settings and get an almost perfect 60 in even the craziest of scenes. The Witcher 3 totally comes down to personal preference. To get it to run at above 30 frames on the Radeon, I had to turn a whole lot of settings down and take the resolution down to 720p. So technically, the Xbox One version looks a little nicer. But then again, the water looks a lot cleaner on the PC version. So this one comes totally down to personal preference. The Xbox One version of Doom is slick and hard to beat. Similar settings at a similar resolution with Vulcan enabled brought the Radeon to its knees. Lowering the settings on the PC version brought the frame rate back and made things even feel a bit more responsive. But all round, the Xbox version is a bit more refined here and clearly wins this round. So there you go, take that Xbox One, I was sure that you would rip this old lady onto shreds, and you kind of did in Doom at least. But at the end of the day, it comes down to preference. The Xbox One just works, the only system requirement that you need is an Xbox One. While having a PC allows you to tune things and get a better frame rate or better visuals, whichever you prefer. Or if you have a good graphics card, you can have both. So that concludes tonight's thing, thanks again for watching and good night.